Aloha, Scott Sub and Bell Live from Sacramento, California, February 18th, 2017, 1.15 in the afternoon. Perfect day to talk about sales. And today we're going to talk about closing and trial commitments. And one of the things that, that when I came up in the sales process 15 years ago that I really didn't understand and I really didn't like, it was trial closing because it was taught to me wrong and I didn't like the way that it worked. But what I want to focus on with you today is trial commitments, trial commitments. Now, you got there's two elements to this. There's really three, three elements to this. So the first element is nonverbal. So you have head nods, right? You got a head nod, that's yes. You got a head nod, no. The second element is the words that you say. That's the second. And the third thing is, is to not use complete sentences, okay? So in my sales process, I may say something like, that's pretty cool. And I'm not gonna add the word right, because I'm not really gonna turn it into a question. It's more of a trial commitment. It's a trial to get to see if that person's engaged with me. And I may say something like, awesome. So, you know, uh, in the sales world, a commitment, a trial commitment could be like, you could see yourself using this, right? Or how could you see yourself using this product? Or when would you use this service? Or how would you use this service? There's all these things to get the person involved and engaged. And you could ask them a question. I'm sure at this point you could see yourself using this. Right? And, but there's no right, there's no could you, you know, there's no like definite thing. You're just getting that person to give you the cue, the nod. And all this stuff does add up. So we have a little bit of trial commitment here, a little bit of trial commitment here, a little bit of trial commitment here. It's really tough if I take you through a whole process and I go, awesome. And you say, yeah, awesome. And I say, cool. And you say, yeah, cool. And I say, fantastic product. And you're like, absolutely fantastic product. It's really tough now over here for you to go, yeah, I don't really think it's that good of a cool or a product or service, right? Because you've gone through trial commitments this whole way through, okay? So the mistake is, is to constantly keep saying the same thing over and over. Isn't that cool? Isn't that awesome? Because if you keep trying to put people on what is referred to as a yes train, yes, 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 their brain says, hey, wait a minute. I know what the next answer is going to be, and I feel like I'm being manipulated, and I don't really want to be manipulated. I really like this product or service, but I don't want to be manipulated. So you need to use a reverse set. And so a reverse set would go something along the lines of, that's probably not something you want, right? Right? I'm, I'm sure that this isn't something you want. And if they say no and they agree to it, that's a reverse set. And I, tell, I got to tell you, I've ridden with salespeople for the last six years, and I've only seen one guy who was really good at this. And then when I trained other salespeople, they were like, I don't know if I can use that. And then we started using it and like it opened up their sales process because it wasn't just a yes train, yes train, yes train, yes train, yes train. And you know, Saldini talks about this in the persuasion book that he wrote 20, 25, 30 years ago about the click world technique where you get people to keep saying yes. But there's a, there's a point where it becomes ineffective. And there's a point where it becomes overdone. There's a point where it becomes uh, manipulative. And don't get me wrong, Saldini, brilliant guy, super smart guy, awesome guy. But I don't think that that's one thing that was discussed enough in the book to tell people, hey, look, there is a point where the yeses become ineffective and they start becoming manipulation to the point where they no longer work for you, okay? So the salesperson that initiates uh, uh, closing techniques or trial closes, all that stuff does help and it does help to leave more sales. Now, if you could do a small favor for me, in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there's a subscribe button. You know what you need to do. You gotta subscribe. And then last of all, you can send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Why not even LinkedIn? Scott Sullivan Bell, trial closing with you. We'll see you soon. Aloha.